Frank DeMore here with the End Times Research Ministry and bringing you the news connecting Bible prophecy and current events. And today I'm going to do an update uh, of the fish, the birds, and animals that have been dying uh, recorded since my last update, which I covered the beginning part of uh, January this month. And since my last report, there have been other reports about fish animals and uh, the birds that have been dying. So I'm going to be covering that today. But first of all, let me go right into the word of the Lord. So those of you who may not know anything about Bible prophecy uh, or the last day signs, you're going to need to know where to go to look for what the Lord had warned about. And the first one would be in Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 through 3. And you're going to notice every one of these scriptures, and here's another one in Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 20, and also Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 3, they talk about the birds and the fish and animals dying. And uh, so when we are told by different prophets that these things were going to happen, then first of all, number one, I'm praying that you'd believe it. And second of all, I'm praying that not only would you believe it, but you as a Christian, because the Lord said, keep on the watch, that you would be alert in watching for these signs, knowing that when you saw these signs, we were in the last days. And this should excite you because this tells us that the Lord is not far away far off from taking his church out of here. So let me go to the first article being presented in uh, January of 2009. I'm going to start there because that's where I left off my last update. And since then, all this, this news is brand new news. So let me go right to it. You'll see the translation. Some of these uh, articles were translated, but I do put the links up so you can go there for yourself if you wish. It says, the school sewage suspected of poison hundreds of geese. And here is the pond fish, the geese, the ducks, and a large number of the 770 geese died within two months. Nearly 500 uh, who lives in Felix, uh, Terrazone, in, in Emerald County, uh, very fast, slept, uh, not at ease. So by looking her into the pond surrounding many days south of the sewer, discharging sewage into the fish ponds, upstream reservoirs uh, found in Haifa, in the uh, Vocational College of Finance and Economics, the very fact that this is the misfortune of the source. So there are a lot of different reasons why birds, fish, and animals are dying, and this is one of them. The world is being polluted, slowly but surely, uh, and it's having a major effect on birds, fish, and animals. So let's go to the next one. And here you see the Jakarta Post, and this one again is January 9th also, 2013. More than 25,500 fowl die. die. In this particular case, you see it right here, is they have it here. And uh, you see it says the dead fowl were positive for bird flu. Now, right now, the United States is in one of the worst epidemics it's ever seen in uh, just about every single state. And California is one of the last states, I believe it's California and Florida, the last states to be hit with it. But uh, now, as of ABC News, Yesterday, they were talking about another form of flu that is really wreaking havoc over infants. And there's been a lot of infant fatalities with this new form of flu. But uh, in any case, the bird flu is out there and about, and it's taking more livestock. And you see the 25,500 dead fowl, most were ducks. And you, they give the numbers here for each one of them. And, of course, there are 4,000 chickens here. But this is the kind of news that I've been reporting. I figured out it's better start keeping track. And I started to keep track in 2009. And since then, I've been giving you updates as these events occur. And uh, when you go to my site, let me go back here for one second. When you go to my site, I'm going to have a link there. Uh, I will put a link at the bottom of my page after this and it will be a link to uh, my 
updates so you won't have to go around and look as a matter of fact I did place it right up here I forgot about that but I did place it up here for you so when you go to my website you'll be able to see this and it's going to give you all of the events since uh, that I've been tracking since 2009 so all right now we got for the ducks and of course there's a uh, another one January 9th thousands of sheep so let's go over there and you see let me go right here thousands of sheep and cattle lost or badly injured in fires I'll just play this for you the strongest possible message has to be sent by the courts when they front up because the penalties are severe up to 25 years in jail if someone dies as a result of deliberately lit fire or fines up to $100,000. Uh, what's important is, is the judicial system reflects community concern. In the meantime, uh, we need to simply continue to remind people of the penalties and ask the public to be vigilant uh, because what we saw yesterday uh, was swift action because of community information. Uh, within hours of that fire being lit and being put out, uh, those allegedly responsible were in police custody and have now been charged. That's a great example to anyone else who's stupid enough to try and do that through this sort of season. Perhaps the biggest loss so far has been livestock, therefore the livelihood of farmers, 10,000 in this area alone. You mentioned this morning that perhaps uh, some of those miners should see the, the uh, emotion and uh, the heartache in having to put some of these sheep down. Do you think that's what should happen? Well, the Mayor of Yass has put to me, and I'm going to raise with the Attorney-General, the fact that we... Um, have graffiti offenders remove their uh, their vandalism uh, and uh, she said to me we should uh, get some of these people that uh, have lit fires down here to help uh, put to death those uh, sheep that are still alive and that, 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 that are in agony because she said if that was the case they'd suddenly see the consequences of their action. Look I'll talk to the Attorney General about whether there is some sort of scheme we can put in place particularly for young people to drive home uh, the threat to property, to lives, to others that uh, foolish action that we saw yesterday uh, can cause. So we have, like I said, many different reasons why birds, fish, and animals are dying. In this particular case, uh, in case you don't know, uh, for the last three years I've been reporting about what's been going on in Australia. Australia has been in the worst drought it's ever seen. Dry conditions, intense scorching heat, so hot that they even had to change their or chart the temperature chart because it went off the chart and I'm not kidding it's in my book and you can google that and find it for yourself if you wish or just google um, Frank DeMora and the uh, BibleProphecyMan.com or uh, End Times Research Ministry uh, off the chart or something to that effect and you'll find this information but uh, the sun the intense heat and then you add that with some evil people uh, that are starting fires when there's already 130 fires that were burning in this area in uh, Australia and it makes uh, compound problems and in this particular case they saw thousands of uh, animals perish because of the stupid acts. Uh, here's another one. Now, this is January 10th. The cold in China kills about 180,000 cattle, threatens the power. Now, I've been telling people, and it's also recorded in my book, about the different conditions that the world is going through right now. We're seeing weather changes like we have never seen before. Places where that it was cold is now warm and vice versa. Uh, brand new heat waves uh, that are really, as you can see, from Australia. So there's a lot of different reasons why uh, animals, sheep, and, and cattle, and and the uh, birds are passing away. And uh, obviously, this is another one of those events that are taking out hundreds of thousands of uh, animals. So let's continue. Now this again is January the 10th of 2013 in Jakarta News and uh, we see here tons of groupers and other fish in the Lamb Plug Bay have died since December last year. The deaths were allegedly called by a red algae bloom. 
and uh, in Lamberg Bay over the past two weeks and occurred after waste was dumped into the sea. As I said before, uh, the world, the people, are polluting the waterways. And as a result, we're seeing large numbers of fish uh, perishing, dying off. And in this case, it just happens to be uh, reported by the Jakarta Post. So you, we're seeing events like this. Now also keep in mind when it talks about the red algae bloom. And in my book, I do cite four or five different articles showing us that the seas are starting to turn this blood red color. And this Jesus warned about this in the last days when he, he in like in, uh, in the book of Revelation, that the uh, water would turn blood. So we see that uh, this, red, this red algae bloom um, runs parallel to what we see this described by the prophets in the, uh, in the Bible about things that were going to be happening in the last days. Now, if you want more information about these red algae blooms, just download my book that I've given to you for free at my website. So let's go to another one, and this is one of those sites that I uh, had to get translated, but this was uh, given, this is recent news. You'll see it here the, uh, on the 8th. It says, dozens of pigs have died in recent days to two populations of the providence of the strange disease, which has occurred certain among people engaged in a parenting. So Rudy Medina, who made the complaint, said the farmers in uh, Herbereno La Hoya, and they expressed the situation, who requested that the intervention of authorities of the Ministry of Agriculture. So, you know, this is uh, another case of disease, rare disease, that are taking out pigs in another uh, in another country. Here we go again. January 11th. Move this up a little bit. Thousands of dead birds are showing up on the northern Michigan shorelines. It says the rapidly changing ecology of the Great Lakes Basin, brought on in part by the non-native invasive species, is causing devastation among Michigan's waterfowl, especially the common loons. And I'll let you go and read the rest of that information, if you will. But there are uh, it gives you all the details in this article about uh, the birds that are dying. You'll see uh, the sleeping bear domes. Gives you all the numbers of the, those that are uh, the birds are sick and dying. So, you know, you if I was a lawyer and I said this many times and I was presenting this circumstantial evidence and you see it year after year, eventually you would get the picture of what's going on. What the Lord had warned us to look for is actually taking place. Now, here is another one, and I'm just going to play the news for you because. Here's another case where hundreds of thousands of dead fish reported again, and this was reported, first posted on January 11th. So let's just listen to the report. It comes down to this. These fish, which travel in large schools, essentially made a wrong turn, and a deadly turn it was. Now, this is brand new video from the shore of Masonboro Island, shot from a boat, and you can see lots of dead fish and later in this video, some birds that are feasting on them. Now, I talked to Stephanie Garrett with the State Department of Environmental and Natu Natural Resources about what happened. She says the fish went up Lucens Creek. That's where coastal management has a monitor that tracks oxygen levels and water temperature. Garrett says the monitor shows the fish used up all the oxygen, and it suffocated them in less than an hour. Now, it's rare for the environmental experts to have this kind of information and to know exactly when a fish kill happened and the exact cause. You want to make sure it's not, you know, an algae or something that could be a concern for human health. Um, and a lot of times, you don't know what caused it. Being able to look at what the physical environment was actually doing during that time, you could see that they ran out of oxygen. 
Now, Garrett says it's rare to see a fish kill this large, but she wants you to know there's no risk to public health. Now, apparently, you can smell those decomposing fish from about a mile away, and there are birds feasting on their remains. So if you're planning on boating or paddling out to Masonboro Island this weekend, you may want to reconsider. All right, so maybe it's rare for that place, but when you see all the numerous reports, you'll find out that these are not rare uh, coincidences at all. So, okay, let's go on to the next one. And here is another video. You'll see dead birds in Dawson, a mystery. And again, this is January the 15th. So let's listen to this. Tonight, a mystery in Doucan where an odd discovery was made today in a field. That's right. More than 30 birds were found dead. And tonight, the big question, why? Our Stephen Albritton is on that story. And Stephen, any indication as to what this is all about? Jim and Marcel, it is a mystery. The birds had no visible injuries and were just scattered in the field. Tonight, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is investigating. I here this morning and saw birds all over the ground. You know, they were on the ground, and one of them fell uh, when I was walking around the property. When James Wing found the dead birds scattered all over this area, his first thought went to a deadly disease. I thought maybe it was West Nile. That's the first thing that popped in my head, because they say you see a dead bird, you think it's West Nile. You know, so that's what I thought. Wing called a state biologist, who came in and collected around 30 of the birds for testing in Baton Rouge. We saw about a dozen of them that were kind of ill, and he said that they would probably see some more of them until they could figure out what was causing it. Walking around, we found three more birds, which appeared to have met the same fate. Well, I think maybe they got hit by something, you know, or but not. They were just dead. All right, so again, this kind of news is showing up. Now, it's all logged in my book, and you'll see article after article, report after report, about mystery deaths. And when you know the word of the Lord, it's no mystery. It's an unveiling of the things of the last days, and it's just a matter whether you believe it or not. Here's another one, and this one is thousands of dead fish wash up in the uh, Pauli's Island. And uh, this, again, you see, look at all these fish here. I'm just, these, you know, when I'm reporting it, it's almost like... Uh, Geez, I wonder if these people are going to believe it this time. I mean, if you see so many of these articles, you know, just what would it take? What would it take to get you uh, to believe this? But uh, here again, you know, they talk about the mystery. There is a mystery along the southern or the South Carolina coast. Thousands of dead fish washed up on the beach at the south end of Polly's Island Tuesday afternoon. And so... <laughs> You know, it's, again, one report after the other. Now, let me take a look at this one, and this will be the last one for today as I give you the final updates. It says, bird flu hits four places. Now, here we go. Uh, it, this is the, uh, the bird flu, which is called the H5N1, has been confirmed at least four places in uh, Pocahera, the sub metropolitan city on Tuesday. All the chicken used materials in the farms of all four places have been destroyed during this evening after the bird flu confirmation. And, uh, you know, I know that what I'm saying is redundant, but you're going to hear, uh, at least for me, you're going to hear, please keep on the watch because these things are happening and they are happening faster and faster and they're not they're not uh, in a, a, a coincidence that each year we're seeing more news like this this i believe is part and parcel for the last days you can see all the articles right here and that's just in january but uh, these are the things that the Lord had warned us through his prophets that were going to happen in the last days. I'm praying that you will take advantage of my free book to read all of that information. It's page after page since 2009. 
And maybe by then you'll believe what the Lord had told us in his word about this one sign of the last days. And keep in mind, this is only one of the many, many signs that were going to happen in the same generation as all of the signs. Take, my, take advantage of my free book today by going to my website. Click this link and that book will be in your hands today. God bless you all. This is Frank DeMora reporting for the End Times Research Ministry.